Welcome this morning to the beginning of the 10th International Symposium on Shibori. 2,300 years ago, somebody inscribed on a ceramic pot a text. It is the earliest text recorded in the Americas, as far as we know. In that text, a description was made about a piece of cloth that was pleated, dyed, and cut. The description fits shibori. Shibori in the widest sense of resist dyeing by compressing fabric to prevent dye from penetrating into it and thereby creating designs. Shibori in Mexico had a very distinguished history. It was associated with the elite as a marker of exalted status. And this is especially made clear by the fact that the royalty in central Mexico, whom we call the emperors of the Aztec state, distinguished themselves by wearing a cloak that was dyed with shibori in indigo. And even all the way into the 1700s, this persisted as a marker of distinction as we can see in a portrait that survives of that period of a young woman wearing a wipil dyed in this technique. In the 1950s, our beloved mentor, Irmgard Johnson, whose legacy we are trying to revive and to give continuity to in this museum, she recorded how the technique was still alive, how it was used to decorate magnificent skirts worn in central Mexico, in the region of the Sierra Gorda de Querétaro. Since then, sadly, the technique disappeared, but it is part of our collective legacy. And it is especially significant for us to welcome you today because of that deep history of Chibori in Mexico, but most importantly, because it reaffirms the mission that Oaxaca has, and the museum is part of that collective mission of our city, to welcome people from across the world as a venue that is open, as a venue that encourages free communication, freedom of thought, and this is particularly significant for us after what happened last week in our neighboring country to the north. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We hope that along these five days of your participating in this symposium, you will not only gain new information and new insights, but we especially hope that you will realize that you are being welcomed in a city that has a long tradition of humanity, of which this museum is part of, and this foundation that hosts us, and we hope that we will be able to raise a collective voice in the sense that I have expressed, because the human spirit transcends the moment. Thank you very much.